Well, I think that because we're all business owners, it's helpful to remember that this, the chutzpah, the energy, the creativity, the desire to meet a customer's need, the needs of those customers that got us to, into business to begin with is what's going to get us through this next phase. And that didn't die. Your energy, your creativity, the skills that you have to provide to people, the desires and needs the customers have, it just changed. And so remembering that, that what built your business before is what's going to continue to build your business in the future is what should encourage all of us. And there's two things that affect your profitability in a company. It's your total revenue and your total costs. So if you have cash flow issues right now, let's take a minute and talk about how can you increase your total revenue. So it, it will look different. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be insulting to anyone's intelligence. I'm just saying we all know that people are not buying what they were buying before. That's why our businesses are slow, but that doesn't mean they're not buying. I wrote an article about the 2008 recession and how, what we can learn from, for this coming recession that we expect. And the truth of the matter is some businesses totally went out of business and closed, but a lot of them did better. There were some categories that actually did better because the people who, the restaurants that are closed, they're actually, grocery sales are through the roof. So this is not a moment to be afraid. It's a moment to take a, an assessment and look at, okay, there's revenue to be had. How do I go capture it? And then to look at your total cost. Okay, how do I reduce my total cost? And that could be something as uh, practical as ask, telling your employees, I love all of you. You know, we're, I'm here for you. We have to reduce our salary by 25%. It's either that or everyone loses their job. And I'm sorry to say it. And, and I was, I did that. I, we, we didn't make our uh, payroll last month or um, in um, March. And I took a, I took a, a complete cut. I said, I brought my salary down to 25%. And uh, I, I, that way I shared that with my employees. And I said, I'm taking a cut. I've reduced a ton of different expenses. I listed out all the things that I did. So that way it was, there was a team effort here. I thank them for their participation. Um, you know, I've had other, other friends who did not do that. They let themselves go in the red for over this, but I mean, it really depends on where you're standing and it's better to keep people aware, be honest with your employees and your landlord, for example, trying to come back and negotiate with them for reduced rent um, or even a payment plan, pitching a payment plan and like, look, I can't pay this month. But if you, will you do me a favor and let me pay $100 more over the next year? Those things, those creative things are so much better than just like, I'm giving up, I'm closing, I can't pay rent. Let's think of a creative way. We're entrepreneurs. That's what we're here for. You know, we solve problems. So I would say total revenue and total cost. There's a lot of things we can still do to help our businesses grow for cash, cash flow 